Up nine five off suit and folds. And Chip Chet's going up with the queen six. He's going to raise this. He has raised this pot with the queen six off suit, just trying to steal the blinds. But Marine's not going for it. She's going to call with ace four, Mike. She's picked up ace high and she calls the raise. We're going to see a flop. And here it is. Flop is three three deuce. Doesn't help either player, but Chip is going to bet in that Marine now has a straight draw, a wheel draw, though, so it's not a bad flop for her. Well, Chip is going to do a little semi-bluff here. He really has nothing. He's betting into it. Now, here's where Marine she's calling. just calls. See, I think she should have raised right here, Vince. Oh, man, that helps Chip. He's got a pair of sixes. Got a yes, legitimate he hand here. He has helped his hand by making two sixes on the turn, and he bets him. He bets 16,000. Marine... Now, Marine has an inside straight draw. Remember, a five will make her a straight. An ace will make her raise it up. She calls 16,000 here on Last 4th Street. Last card coming up. Last card is another three. Now, Chip checks. And she's not going to try to steal it. It goes check, check. The turn of the card's over. Chip Jet has made threes full of sixes, and he is going to win this pot. Now, Vince, in limit poker here, here's something for the viewers to pay attention to. Marine could have and should have raised that hand on the flop when she made the straight draw. Perhaps you're right, but you know, Maureen doesn't really even look like a poker player. I mean, she looks like a very lovely lady. Lovely lady, you're right about that part, but she is a fierce poker competitor. They literally try and run over you, and it's the men that do it. You wait until you've got a good hand, and then you let them try and do it again, and then you just give it to them. Well, the aggressive play of Chip Jett is sure paying off today. Okay, the action's going to go to Cowboy. He's got 7-5 off suit. He's not going to call it. Back on Chip. He's got 9-10 of diamonds. He's going to raise it up. And he raises with that hand. Maureen's gone with Jack-7. Howard's going to... He's got a Queen-8 of diamond, Howard. Now Howard's going to call out of the small blind yes, with a Queen-8 of diamonds. And Tim Lark has an ace-three off suit. And he's calling also. Here comes the flop. He's on the short stack. The crowd is Look cheering him. Three deuces on the flop. Quack, quack, quack. Three little ducks come in there. Howard, it's going to be on Howard first. And this really doesn't help anybody. Well, Tim Lark, a little desperate. He doesn't have much money. It's gone check, check, check. Right now, Tim has the best hand with ace high. But no longer. A queen comes up. Look at that. Howard smoothly checks. He's got deuces full of queens, and Tim checks behind him. And Chip bets 16,000. Howard caught the queen. You're right. He's got a full house here. And he is called now. He smooth calls. Now, Tim's got a decision. Now look at Tim. Now, Tim has an ace high here. Time. He is calling for time here. Means he wants to play this pot. And this guy's amazing. You know that he actually got here for one dollar. He played a tournament, parlayed that into three different satellite tournaments to get him a seat. So for the price of a candy bar, he has a shot of over a quarter of a million dollars. <laughs> and he's going to go all in. He's going to call this. You're right, Vince. Now he's going to need an ace. He's a desperate man now. If he doesn't get it, he's going to be our fifth place finisher. He's standing up, getting ready to go. He needs an ace to stay alive. He's not going to get it. He does not do it. Now, there's still two players in the pot. Are they going to check? Howard's going to win the pot. Tim Lark from Dayton, Ohio, goes out in fifth position. He's shaking hands, a real gentleman. What a performance he had for one dollar to get as far as he did, Vince, to the final table and take home over 50000 and a week to remember for life. Tim, you must be disappointed, but you sure made back your dollar. <laughs> hey, I can't be too disappointed. I came a long way for a dollar. No complaints. How about the experience as a whole with Cardi Poker and World Poker? Great experience from the online experience straight through to this. I've had a great time. The tournaments online were great. Coming here, the people were great. The way they ran the tournament was excellent. I had a great time. Now, Mike, I still find it very hard to believe that Tim Lark actually qualified for this tournament by only paying a dollar. Yeah, and one online player didn't pay a dime to get in this tournament. He got in on a free roll. He won the cruise for two, a seat in this championship. Amazing. It is. As Shauna Hyatt found out, keeping the players happy is all part of the plan on Party Poker Million 2. After a few days on board the Party Poker Million cruise, one thing becomes clear. These guys know poker, and they know how to throw a party.
Party Poker Million 2. Yes! Party Poker. Not the only side I play at. You know, you have an opportunity for $25 to play for $300,000. I won a $25 tournament. It cost me $25 to get here. It cost me nothing more than a dollar. You know, play for $300,000. That's really something to, to shoot for. Best tables, best action. The people couldn't be nicer. While we're watching television or reading, we play. Every night, we're addicted. <laughs> <laughs> party Poker is one of the fastest growing online sites in the world, with more players joining the party every month. Anyone who can check email can play poker at Party Poker. Yeah, I enjoy it. It's like, you know, you kick back, sit on the couch, make some money. No, nothing beats that. With an ultimate prize of a card player cruise and a chance to play poker with the stars, everyone is joining in. I'm going to rock this tournament, I hope. I have a young man who I work with. He turned me on to party poker. Bill, I don't think he believed I could actually play it. A lot of our friends and acquaintances find it fascinating. There's always a standing invitation from party poker to play online. Last second qualifier. Last second qualifier. We party will. poker million. And maybe get a shot to attend the biggest party of the year. This vacation has died and gone to heaven. Well, we're down to our final four players, Vance. And Howard Letter has made a nice move so far. He's just about tied Chip Jet with a chip lead. Marine Faduniak in third place with about 135,000. And the Cowboy sitting in fourth place with a little over 70,000. Well, Howard Letter, a WPT champion already, going for his second title here. Not only the money you win, but you get that... Guaranteed seat of the WPT Championships. Now, he's already won one of those. And many consider this to be his best game, Lemon Holdem. Cowboy's in... got ace-10 right here. And look at this. Cowboy's going up. He's going to raise it. He's fired it up. Chips out. Maureen's out. And now here's Howard Leonard picking up a nice hand. Queen Jack of Spade. Yeah, very nice. And he calls one more bet out of the big blind. So we're going to have a pot between Howard, a former World Poker Tour champion, and the Cowboy, who started the day on the short stack, an online qualifier. And the flop comes ace, 10, 9. Now this gives Howard an open end straight draw, but it gives the Cowboy the top two pair. And notice Howard is checked with an open end straight draw. Here comes the Cowboy, going for his saddlebags. Howard Letter has check raised right here. But the Cowboy's not going for it. He re-raises him with a top two pair. And Howard calls him. Here we go, 4th Street. It's a jack. Howard checks, and the Cowboy bets again. He's going to call the 16 grand. Howard calls again. A major pot developing right here. Howard needs to catch here, but he's not going to. A three. Howard checks, and the Cowboy turns up aces and tens. He's going to win this pot. And the crowd's love it because they're pulling for the online qualifiers. Vince, we had four out of the six final players at the final table who qualified online on Party Poker to get in this event. Well, look at the cowboy take that money. That's the way to play poker. Yep, he picked up a nice pot there. Now, notice Howard. You know, he has the best composure, I think, in poker. He never gets rattled at the table. He's a very composed poker player. And that's why he does so well when he plays poker. I am trying to win really hard. I am trying as hard as I can try. I am thinking as hard as I can think at the table. You may not see that, but it's there. Well, back on the action. It's going to be on Chip. He's got a king eight. He maintains his aggressive style. He raises the pot with a king eight offsuit. Maureen's going to go away. Maureen folds her hand, 10-6. But look at this. Howard's picked up a big hand, ace-10. And Howard, Howard calls. calls the Cowboy gets out of the way. Now here's our two chip leaders, the two professional players at the table. They're clashing. King eight against ace ten. Lots of chips out here. Here comes the flop. Flop is nine seven deuce. No help to either player, but it doesn't slow chip down. He fires out and bets 8,000. And Howard quickly calls. Look at this. What a call by Howard Letter right there. He has the best hand, but he doesn't really know He's it. He's not buying it yet. The turn card is the tray of spades. Howard checks again. Now, I'm amazed Chip is going to fire again after being cold on that 16, flop. He bet 16,000 more. That's what a poker player does. Now, it takes a lot of heart to fire two shells in a row when a guy's called you twice in a row, like Howard has done Chip right here. Look at Howard Letter, the thinking man's poker player. And Howard folds. Well, Howard lays it down. He got poked a little bit there by Chip Jet. 
Nice bet by Chip Jet. Boy, take your hat off to Chip Jet right there. His aggressive play is paying off here today. Took the WPT champion of Foxwoods right out of that hand. He took him down a notch there. He got Howard to lay down the best hand. Chip Jet, aggressive play, winning poker right here. Things are really heating up here in the Caribbean. Vince, exciting limit action today. Stay tuned. We'll be right back with more on the World Poker Tour. Poker Tour. The Party Poker Million 2 is now a battle between two online competitors and two in-your-face Las Vegas pros. Well, we've seen some great battles between these players so far, Vance, but right now the short stacks are going to have to make a move. Let's get to the table. All right. It's going to be Maureen. She's got two ace. Under the gun, Maureen's going to bring it in for a raise. Howard's going to go out. Cowboy's out with 7-5. Chips calling with a six, eight of spades. Here comes the flop. Whoa, Chip Jip has flopped a flush and a straight flush draw. Oh, man, and he's checking. He's setting a trap here. Well, Maureen's flopped top pair. She Absolutely. has to bet, and she does so. And Chip raises her. Chip has flopped a flush with a straight flush draw. Maureen has flopped the top pair. Maureen's going to be stubborn. She's hanging in there. The turn card is the trade. And now look at this. Marina's made a straight here. Oh. So this is going to get her in deeper hot water. Oh, Chip man. She doesn't believe Chip has a flush. Hard to believe. Chip, Chip has bet 16000 and Marina's raising. And now Chip Jet is sitting on a flush right here. Now he's just thought for a second. Wait, because she have a bigger flush? You got to even consider that. Well, for him to lose this pot, she has to have a bigger flush than he does. I raise. And he doesn't believe it. He's going to raise it, Mike. He's raising it. He's going to say, well, if you got a bigger flush than this, good luck to you. Now, Maureen is just sick about that raise. That tells her a lot. She's calling anyway. Yes, yeah, she is. This is a disaster for Maureen Faduniak. Train wreck waiting to happen here. Now, the nine of spade comes off. Now, Chip's not going to like that card because no, it not. could kill his flush. If she had one spade. Maureen checks. She shows ace deuce. Oh, above. man. Chip has six eight of spades. Chip's flush holds up. He wins a monster pot right there. That is a killer for Maureen. That is a damaging blow for wow. Maureen Faduniak. No question about it. I don't think she played it too bad, but she just got unlucky. She had to hit that straight. Well, the guy had the flush on the flop. What are you going to do? Well, let's remember, last year, a lady won this tournament, so no man has ever won the Party Poker Million. <laughs> yeah, that's a good point. Okay, we're back to the action. It's going to be on the Cowboy Joe Simpkins. Cowboys he's picked up six now. queen of clubs. Is he going to play? Well, he's in first position here, as we say, in early position. He's thinking about playing this, but he's not. He folds the queen six of clubs. Chip Jet is going to fold. Chip Jet folds on the button. He had do say off suit. And then Maureen's got nine six of spades. And she is going to call this. And Howard with an 8-5 opts to see a flop here. So we're going to have a flop between Maureen and Howard. Flop comes ace-10-5. Maureen checks. Well, that's going to help Howard a little bit. He's got a little piece of that. Well, he made the bottom pair. He bets. And he Maureen's wins the pot. But Vince, one more time. Let's take our hats off to the ladies. Remember, Kathy Liebert was the defending champion. A lady won this event last year. Has a chance to do so again. You know, it's great to see the women coming out and playing in poker championships and doing so well. Maureen Faduniak says her friends are fascinated to learn she's a high-stakes poker player. The only people who are really shocked are the players that are busted by this very proper English lady called Mo. I play solid poker. 
A lot of people underestimate women in general as poker players, but the players that I sort of are familiar with, I, I don't think they underestimate me. She appears to what she is. She's a top-notch player. She's a very, very strong opponent. I think that probably her raises get more respect at the table than anyone else. <laughs> but some of the guys think they can run over the girls, but it's not the way it works. I don't try to do anything fancy, and I play the cards, and eventually you'll have a couple of hands where you can 